Hey everyone, Novakistan back at it again, continuing with the uh, Link to the Past here. <clears throat> Jesus, pardon me. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, so, last episode, we saved the princess from the castle, got her to the sanctuary. Uh, the priest and the princess told us that we need to go to Kakariko Village to seek out the, uh, the village elder. Because he's going to know some information about the Master Sword. Uh, and that's the thing that we're going to need to kill the bad guy. So... Kakariko Village is this way, and then down is this way. But before we, uh, before we do anything crazy, was the old lady in here? <clears throat> okay, we'll hear the old lady's tale, because she knows something about the uh, village elder here. Who? Oh, it's you, Link. What can I do for you, young man? The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began collecting victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't, un uh, I don't remember the details exactly, but... Long ago, a prosperous people known as the Hylia inhabited this land. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hylia hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of them. <laughs> people say that it now is sleeping deep in the forest. Ellipses, 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 ellipses. Do you understand the legend? Sure. Anyway, look for the Elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. You take care now, Link. Alright, so... Lady gave us a little bit of world building about the, uh... The, the old Hylia and what the uh, Master Sword is. So, we're going to go down here and do a little puzzle thing real quick. Basically some rupee collecting. Now this guy. Yo, Link! This house used to be the hideout for a gang of thieves. What was their leader's name? Oh yeah, his name was Blind, and he hated the bright light a lot. That'll be useful later, I guess, <laughs> somewhere down the line. <clears throat> now, I used to be able to do this in one go. I don't know if I can do it anymore, but uh, we'll see. So I think that each of these are like red rupee boxes. Okay. Oh man, yes! It's been a while since I've been able to do this in one go. This is fucking great. Alright, killer. And then we'll come back down here and we get bombs to blow that little crevice in the hole to the right of the door. And I think there's more rupees in there. Let's head out this way. And there's this little drop-off over here, where more rupees and... Uh, I don't remember if it's bombs or if it's just rupees. So I think you get bombs sorta early. Let's see. Bombs, yep. <clears throat> so we can go back to the place, and uh, blow the hole in the wall. 20 rupees, 20 rupees, 20 rupees. And the more you can stockpile in the early game, the better, because... Uh, there's going to be a point later on, actually, uh, yeah, before we get to the last temple, I think, um, in the light world, uh, we're going to need the Zora Flippers, and those are, like, 600 rupees, I think. Uh, we're about to blow a bunch of rupees, I think, like, it's like 50 or 100 rupees on a, a jar, so we can capture fairies, and that'll be important because God knows I'm going to mess some boss battle up or just get killed by happenstance and <laughs> it'll just be embarrassing so five rupees each and i think there is a piece of heart in the box yeah <clears throat> you found a piece of heart collect i think it's four in this game and you get an extra heart piece okay so let's head back up head down and there's a couple of things in kakariko village uh well let's get this out of the way you, sir, have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well, step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale right now for the low, low price of 100 rupees. What do you say? I'll take one, absolutely. Goodbye, thanks a lot. Now, hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? It's good for business. Heck yeah. <laughs> Link and his holding stuff above his head business. This is a magic bottle. You can store an item inside and then use it later. So yeah, we're, uh, I don't really mess around with the potions. I've gotten along playing Zelda just... Uh, uh, just using the fairies in the bottles, and that seems to be just fine. Oh, also, if we startle these maidens, then we'll get uh, guards sick on us, so let's try not to do that. Uh, what building? There's a, there's a kid. There's a sick kid in a building nearby that has the bug catcher's net. That, ooh, Kuko. Or Kuko, or whatever. Kuk. Ooh, and another magic bottle. So that we are doing pretty good already. I think there's four bottles in the game, so we're already halfway there. Uh, anyway, there's a kid that's sick because of the evil coming off the mountain. Here he is, right here. 
I can't go outside because I'm sick. Cough, cough. People say it's... People say I caught this cold from the evil that is coming down off the mountain. Sniff, sniff. This is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I'm better, but for now, I'll lend it to you. <laughs> you imagine if some guy just came into your house, you're under the weather, you're like, uh, this is my sofa. I don't need it because I'm in bed, so go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> you borrowed the bug catching net. There may be some other things you can catch with it, too. So yeah, that we need this to catch fairies for the bottles, so that's important. Uh, I'm probably forgetting something else, but, uh... Oh, actually, uh, the, the old lady's house here. So this guy, I think if you catch him, he gives you something later? I don't remember. We're gonna need the, uh... I'm not messing with this chicken game. That's one thing I'll not be showcasing at all, is, uh... <laughs> the, the raining of the cuckoos, or cuckoos, or whatever the hell. Alright, get some preemptive arrows. <clears throat> if I play my cards right, and if I'm quick enough, we'll get the uh, bow and arrow in this episode and clear the first temple. That's what I'm hoping to do. Alright, then bomb here. And go inside. Fucking rats. <laughs> God damn, leave me alone! Leave me alone! It's like there's like bombs and rupees scattered through here. And arrows, neat. Okay, that's uh pretty good. Now that we're done messing around in Kakariko Village, we cut through these guys. We're gonna talk to this uh this little tyke over here, because he knows where Village Elder is. Hi Link. Elder, are you talking about the grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace east of the castle. I'll mark it on your map. Here you are. So yeah, so we look at our map, here we are in Kakariko Village, glance over, a little red X, that's the Eastern Palace area, and that's where we're going to be bound for. So, uh, easiest way to get there, uh, I guess it would just be north and then east, I guess, I think. Again, there's parts of this game I know like the back of my hand, and then sometimes, like, I... <laughs> I'll be playing, I'm like, okay, I know exactly where I need to go, and then I'll go just, like, the complete opposite direction. And, you know, it's just one of those moments you feel real smart, so. Alright. <clears throat> Pass by the troops, there's no need to get an unnecessary combat. The AI in this game is not exactly, like, super intelligent. I mean, it's, you know, 1993, 2, 3, uh, computing, so it's not like they're gonna have a certain awareness about them. Oh, damn. Or, or me having a certain intelligence about beating them. Uh. So yeah, generally you can just sneak right by the bad guys and have no problem. I am going to consult the map. Okay, I was going the right way-ish. And actually the southern way that I decided to ignore probably would have been faster, but, you know, whatever. And then I'm not sure what these guys are supposed to be. Uh, Octoroks, maybe? Does that sound right? Maybe. Someone's gonna call me out and I'm gonna be a real dumb, but it's okay. Oh god, I, my, no, 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 no! Heart? Yeah, we'll grab that real quick. And then the Eastern Palace is east this way. Actually, there might be a fairy fountain here. Or maybe it's a great fairy. Leave me alone. Oh, wait. Uh, great fairy. So we'll just... I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. <laughs> and she'll heal all your, your battle scars and put a band-aid on your knee and, and kiss your forehead and make you feel better. All right. Now we've come to the Eastern Palace or just like the... God damn it. <laughs> this, we're off to a great start today. All right. And the Elder is going to be a Pizzle. Ooh, 20 rupees, not bad. Alright. Now the Elder is inside. There he is. I am indeed Sahasrala. Sahasrala? Sahasrala? Sahasrala. We're going to go with that. The Village Elder and descendant of the Seven Wise Men. Oh, really? Link, I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Ellipses. Do you really want to find it? I, just, I like how either way, I'm sure this this way is like, hmm, I'm not convinced, so yeah. 
Good. As a test, can you retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I'll tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now go forward to the palace. And go forward we will, after throwing... Oh. Sahasrala is not a real person. The jar did not hit him in the head. And thus we avoided a police report. Now. Uh, off to the eastern... Oh, down. Down, down, down. Oh, God. Oh, God, go. Oh, boy. <laughs> These guys always freaked me out when I was little. Because you can't... Like, they just, like, charge at you in a straight line. They're one of the only... I'm going to say that now. One of the only enemies in the game that I can think of that will just target you and just, like, come at you with that like, kind of ferocity. Like, I mean, once like, the guards see you, they'll target you and just come at you for a certain distance. But those guys just don't ease up. All right. Eastern Palace. Not super complicated, especially if you're someone like me who's played this a, a, a shitload <laughs> as I get hit by the non-aggressive enemy. Um... Really, it's just knowing where to go, and I think for the most part, I have this memorized. Uh, it's, like I said in the first episode, it's the, it's anything in the dark world that I'm gonna start having problems with. Oh, rip. But the light world, I, I more, more or less have a good grasp on. I should get equip the boomerang. <clears throat> oh, that's... <laughs> Doesn't stun the, the skelly bones. Alright. Now, if you're good, and the skelly bones don't give you too much trouble, you can just take them all out with the jars and not have to worry about getting hit. Jeez. What? What? <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Get that guy. And one more. Alright. Now we're good to go. <clears throat> I think it was the compass? Yeah. You found the compass. Now you can pinpoint the lair of the dungeon's evil master. Head down here. These are kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'll just read it. Link, it is I, Sahasrala. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here's a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat the armored foes. What treasure is that, you might say? Well, I think I gave it away earlier. It is the bow and arrow. You can beat these guys. I think they one-shots them, but you could also just hit them with the jars. No problem. There are harder versions of those guys later that will not be taking any of your shit from the jars, so... Since we don't have the... We need the big key to uh, open the big chest. Uh, the same key that opens the boss chamber. Uh, we have to keep moving on. I remember uh, a long time ago, back when they did the uh, Link to the Past slash Four Swords Adventures thing on the Game Boy Advance. I, we would, my mom and I would be going, uh, going to Crystal Lake where I used to live, or near where I used to live. And I'd bring my Game Boy Advance along with me, and I'd be playing this 24/7. Like this is the only game I played for a pretty good long while. God, oh God, oh God. Okay. And I remember, like, I, I don't know if I was smart enough, or maybe I was just too young or something, I don't know. But I would never save my game, so whenever I, like, played the game, I'd always be starting again from the beginning. And I think that's why I have such a strong grasp of the first three temples, because I would generally get that far, get to the Dark World, and be like, uh, I'm too young and dumb to know what to do now, so I'm just not gonna <laughs> play anymore, I guess. Um, my mom is actually really good at this game. I think she generally doesn't have any trouble with most of the game, if I remember correctly. She's the one that actually got me into uh, hello, uh, Zelda and stuff, because she she played this first. Um, and as a little kid, like I watched her play it when we got the Nintendo 64. I think the uh, you know Ocarina of Time was for me, technically. But she played that too, and I think my mom be <laughs> beat it before I did. I remember me and my friend Bobby were having like this, uh who's going to beat it first, and then I think he beat it before me, and then my mom beat the game before me, so I was all miffed about that. Alright, get that guy, get that heart. Alright, now we can open the big chest, and it is the bow, and now we can uh, shoot the arrows that we have collected with said bow. Those guys are going to shoot their heads at us. I think there is a fairy fountain down here? Well... That should technically have hit me, but thank God for the 3D 
areas. Oh, yeah, you got a fairy. What will you do? Keep it in the bottle. <laughs> Indentured servitude from now on for that fairy. All right, equip the bow and arrow, and then this will take us back up top. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna avoid all these guys. Open up this area. <laughs> See this guy that's stalking us. If one is a good player, uh, one can not get hit doing this, but, you know, I'm subpar at video games at best. But it... Oh, nope. <laughs> Still subpar. I was gonna say you could do this without getting hit, but I'm... I mean, I'm no Zelda master or anything. I've learned my lesson about pro <laughs> proclaiming such things long ago. Oh god. I'm fucking gonna die here, and that's gonna be embarrassing. Oh god! Okay, now I just need to take it real easy. <laughs> and hopefully. I think these guys just drop rubies, generally. Rupees? Um, I don't think they drop hearts. That I remember. I'm gonna have to play it real cool here. Oh god, yeah, because. God knows I'm. God! Ah! Okay, yeah. Heart, please? Oh, damn it. Please drop a heart. Damn. Oh, thank god. Okay. This is okay. Because there's like a heart area right before the boss area. Oh boy. There's one more room and then boss time. Okay. Bomb. Heart. One shot that guy. Get that guy. Okay. I do this? Hell yeah! That that always feels good when you can pull that off. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I never know how because I think these guys uh, go a little farther too before they go back to sleep. Okay. So here we are. It is boss time, and they are a bunch of these fucking weird guys. Generally. Like, this is a pretty easy boss, and I'll honestly probably get hit trying to do this, <laughs> but um, generally you can just, like, stand in one position, and then they'll do this wall thing. The hardest part of this boss is when you get them down to one, the, they'll start doing this shit, and it's kind of, like, for me, it's kind of hard to, like, get the, oh boy, like, the timing of when you need to hit them. Oh, for, oh man, I was going to say, I could probably do this without getting hit, but... I got sloppy. Uh, oh god! Ah! Uh, oh, bitch! Oh, bitch! Oh, this was going so well! <laughs> no! No! Oh, okay. And that's another uh, big heart. And then that is the Pendant of Courage that Sahashwala wanted us to get. And that is the level. Triumphant music and all. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Sahasrala. Two pendants remain. That always gave me the chills as a kid. Uh, like, especially when you get the second temple. Uh, you beat the second temple, and it's like one pendant remains. And it's like, oh man. This game. <laughs> like You're like, this game is about to be over. And then you get to the castle again. You go back in there. A much more powerful and much more wizened young player. And then it's not the end. It's only the beginning. All right. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage. Now I'll tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of, Hy of the Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against the evil that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights... Uh oh, <laughs> I was distracted. The Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see, Link. I believe you... Wow. <laughs> Damn it. I see. Link, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. These guys are a super important part of the game. 
Uh, he gives you the Pegasus Shoes. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. Hold the A button for a short time. A helpful item is hidden in the cave to... On the east of... You can just read that. Helpful... I See, I never listened to him properly before. Um, so anyway, the Pegasus Shoes. So you can perform a devastating dash attack. That's what that looks like. But most importantly, you can just... Just run through boards now. Or screens, whatever you want, you prefer the term. Um, definitely gets you through this game much faster than just walking. Um, all right, so I think we'll probably actually cut it there. Um, so next time, actually, I step outside so I can reference the map. So next time, so this is the Eastern Palace. Next time, we're going to get a couple of items, and then we're going to go to this area here for the second temple. We're going to clear out that second temple, and then after that, be up here for the third temple. But for now, we're going to call it here. I'm going to head back inside just to make sure I'm safe with Sahashula. So next time, we'll be uh, getting that second temple. Until next time, I'm Novakistan. Hope you guys have a great day.